what is the future scope when HR related courses lead to PR later in New Zealand? HR uh, is a very specific branch of business. And uh, uh, like how you would have administration, you would have finance, you would have sales and uh, some marketing, or sometimes some companies even break it down separately into sales and into marketing, like AJV services. We are a small company, we are not a lot of people, but we have a very separate marketing department and then we have a very separate sales department. We have an admin department. So likewise, you know, HR is a very specific area within business. And my advice here, Vikas, is yes, the scope is always there. Why not? HR obviously would have a scope like any other uh, business uh, vertical uh, or business uh, department. It will have. But if you are uh, young and you're just starting off and you don't have experience in HR, but then I don't recommend that you get yourself into something so specific only into HR if you don't have the uh, prior experience. But if you have two or three years of experience already as a HR professional and you understand some um, uh, you know, uh, things about HR, then probably it's a good idea to specialize in HR. But my recommendation always is to broaden it up a little bit, like get into a business course which has got papers in HR, it's got papers in administration, and finance and sales and marketing, so on and so forth, so that it covers all the full range of uh, business, you know, the, the departments in, involved in business. And in doing a more generic course, uh, the, what happens is you also maximize your chances of getting a job in one of these areas in future. And whether it leads to PR or not is always directly dependent to what job you get in New Zealand, whether it is relevant to the course you have done and whether you're getting the a required position and the required salary. So that's what it's all about.